Connor was 16 when he died after falling off his moped with his helmet left undone and now his family are facing their sixth Christmas without him. But instead of letting their grief get the better of them, they're bettering the world around them. Today, they're installing the first of a brand new defibrillator in Bristol, which could save thousands of lives. The reason we're here today is we're putting um, an AED outside broad playing boxing gym where Connor used to box um, before he lost his life in a with a motorbike accident um, for not clipping his helmet up. So the reason we're doing this is because every year we campaign um, to raise awareness for Clip Up for Connor. Um, and this year we decided to do something different. Um, generally, years gone by, we've given money to charities like Children's Trust, Headway and Break. And this year we decided to put AEDs out into the community where Connor grew up. These new defibrillators were installed in areas close to Connor's home and heart. I knew Connor very well. He, he came here and was training to box and sadly he passed before he could box, but he was due to box that season, um, all ready to go. A dedicated young man, lovely to chat to. One of those that, if he came in, he would always put in 100% and never, never had to ask him to do it. He could do it. He was a lovely chap. The family have set their minds to ensuring they save as many young lives as they can, and this is their latest triumph. We're just trying to make his memory live on and make sure that no one goes through the pain that we as a family did and still do and live with on a daily basis. We just want to make sure we can try and avoid that for any other family, mum, dad, sister, brother, etc. This new defibrillator continues to pump the heart while monitoring it, whereas older models have to be removed, leaving the person in trouble with a chance of their heart stopping again. So any, anybody um, that uh, has an ambulance called for them, there will be a triage in place uh, and they'll have questions uh, from our 999 call handlers uh, and we establish that somebody's unconscious and not breathing normally, um, cardiac arrest, they will send them to the nearest public access defibrillator. The device will actually talk them through what to do step by step. It'll tell them to um, take the defibrillator pads out of the package in, uh, place one of them on the chest, place the other one on the chest and it will talk them through what to do nice and clearly uh, and calmly. So it looks like this family have managed to turn a negative into a positive.